Montrealers came out Thursday at Place du Canada to rally against Quebec's French language reform or Bill 96. We have a long way to go, but we're on it. Court challenges are in the works. And even though the bill was officially adopted at the National Assembly Tuesday, leaders of the English-speaking community say they will continue to be vocal against it. We're going to continue to advocate, agitate um, for our rights. We're going to document all of the violations of our rights to access in English to health, to social services, to education, to um, uh, employment, all of that based on Bill I think politicians are there to listen to the public and to hear what the public has to say and to um, kind of understand where people are in their, you know, in their society. And so it, it means that there's a certain group of politicians that are not necessarily hearing the group of people that are saying, well, listen, let's talk about this. Let's examine this. You have to ask yourself why. Why are they not listening in the face of community outpour, in the face of experts talking about the unconstitutionality? of it, about how damaging it is. It's, it's just really disheartening. The law will be enacted in phases over a period of three years, something the Legault government says will improve protection for French while preserving English services. But those at this rally say the bill will do just the opposite. Bill 96 is a grave human rights violation masquerading itself as a language rights, as a protecting the French language bill. Shannon adding this language reform is not the way to go to protect the French language, holding a sign that reads, I am not a second class Quebecer. Why not give refugees a chance to adapt to Quebec society while learning the national language? This bill steals away these chances. It forces French down people's throats when it needs to be properly digested. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.